Hey guys, so today is the 5th of January 2013 and it is about 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, it's a very, really early start because we're headed from Cambridge all the way down to Liverpool, which is about a four hour drive. We're going to be headed over there to review the temporary ice rink that Liverpool have at the minute, which is um, set up by the Ice Box and it's called the Ice Festival. Good morning. Hey, hey. What's the time? Time is 4.59 in the morning and it's still dark, as you can see. And, and we're crazy. I don't know where we are, I think we're near Birmingham or something, or Caring, something like that. On our way to Liverpool. Yeah, but the plan is we're going to get to Liverpool, review this ice rink, maybe get some sleep because we've not slept all night, and then go shopping in Liverpool and then club it. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. We're ready for this. Okay, dark. Peace out. So basically we're past Birmingham right now, at a service station, not too far from Liverpool, I think we've got about another hour and a half to drive. And we're trying to find some food, but because it's like six o'clock in the morning, everything's closed. Right. It's blows. Starbucks is definitely going to be the final option. Okay, to joy.com, we've got a new giveaway, an iPad, brand new iPad. <laughs> She's right there. Come get it. <laughs> Come and get it. You guys, you guys just get to relax while I'm doing all the driving. Yeah. You're going to take over halfway. I've man. been driving more for it. He's got cruise control and I've been taking a steering while over. You're going to take over halfway when we got to Birmingham. But we're here now, so what's the point? You're driving on the way back though. I think that's fair. Yeah. Just waiting to check in. Welcome to Liverpool. Welcome to Liverpool. <laughs> welcome, welcome. We're here. And then our ice rink is just here on a, at level uh, Liverpool one. So it's real close. It's literally 200 meters down there. That's sweet. Nice and close. Texting. Just texting George to find out what time he's going to be getting up here. That's Mr. G Star Skates. So we're just headed over to the ice rink now. About 400 meters from our hotel. You can see we're pretty much at the um, ice festival now. Everything's closed here incredibly early, but well, let's head inside. So this is the entrance to the uh, ice bar. We're just gonna head inside and have a look. There's a fan right above my head, so you hopefully can hear me, but literally everything you see is ice. The lamp, that's complete solid ice. The bar. Chairs, everything is complete solid ice, even the walls. All solid ice. This is really cool. But yeah, just take a look at some of these sculptures. Yeah, all the walls are ice. The attention to detail is amazing. It's a reindeer head over here. Hopefully you guys can see that from here. And there's a bear on the left over there. The quality is amazing. Yeah, oh. Well, I've got George here with me. I'm just going to take a look around and show you guys what we can see. It is freezing in here, isn't it? Oh, oh. it is freezing. What temperature is it? I think like minus 10. Are you taking any photos? Uh, yeah, I'm going to do a couple of photos now. This is just a quick look. Hopefully, you guys have been able to see. Um, the fans have cooled down for a second. They're not spinning so fast, so I thought I'd quickly um, record something where you might be able to hear me a bit better. So they've got really crazy sculptures over here. You can see they've got birds. Over there they've got the, um, a reindeer head, they've got a massive bear, the walls are ice, um, all of these tables and stuff that you can see right here, these are all ice as well, so is the chair and the bar if I just turn over here, you can see it's got some really nice um, lamps along the sides which are obviously for decoration, those are completely solid ice, so is the entire bar and all of the tabling and stuff that you can see in the background. You can hear that my voice is quite shaky because it is freezing in here, so we're going to head out. But this place is really, really amazing. I'm incredibly surprised. So you've just left the ice bar, which you can see directly behind me over there. That's the ice bar, the entrance to all of that. They did have a room that's purely for ice sculptures, but that was with the um, Santa's little grotto that was here for the kids, but that's now left. 
but the ice rink and the ice bar is still here and I've just um, got to the ice rink which is in front of me now so I'll show you a quick look. Do you want to do the ice run first or do you want to do this first? Um, we'll do this first and then go over to the ice run. Enjoy! <laughs> Make sure you guys check out the YouTube, it's G-Star Skate Star. There'll be a link in the video description for you to check out the other stuff. Have you not seen him? Look at this guy! No! <laughs> My eyes just destroyed already. <laughs> So in terms of the overall ice quality over here, it's incredibly smooth. I must say that the um, finish that this ice rink has, it seems to be much, much more detailed than any of the other outdoor rinks that I've been to. i definitely say that if um, they were to employ something like this in Cambridge, it'd be a huge success. What we're going to do after we finish on this ice rink over here, after we've had a mess around, you can see that there's quite a few of us just messing around on the ice right now. We're going to head over to the ice slide and have a little mess around on that. So right now we're just headed from the ice rink that you can see in the background with the Audi in the middle to the slope. It's a pretty high slope, I wasn't expecting it to be this high, but let's have a look at what we can do. You can hear um, George's little blade guards over there squeaking away. <laughs> they are squeaking, mate. Yeah, but let's head on. There's no way you're going to be able to hockey stop on there, and if you look, the slightest not perfectly even where the joints are. going to go over. I don't want to land on this. Okay, so how are we going to work this out? So we've got to go down there, jump onto, that. onto there. <laughs> Can't even get this one off, because someone's trying to get that off. This yeah, will be interesting. 20 mile an hour and it grips at the bottom of your shoelace. I think we're going to need a risk assessment That's for this one. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. You can do this. Skating up. <clears throat> a lot of speed. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Pops me a hockey stop rather than me just turning. Go on, a new one now. Chris, put one leg over side. <laughs> Come on. Ramp that we've been going up and down. So the idea is to bring one of these to Cambridge, but for Liverpool, what they're hoping to do, the set of stairs that we came up that you saw earlier on before we got to the rink, it was incredibly steep. They're hoping to put a slide like this, a much, much bigger one, much steeper, on those stairs down there. So hopefully that'll be a possibility for something that we'll see in November of 2013. But all we can do is hope that this is going to come to Cambridge because this is a lot of fun. You're supposed to go down on the tire of the rubber rings, you can see on the on your left hand side or my right hand side over there. This chat time right there. Yeah. These are the rings that you're supposed to go down on. Well, we've been having a little uh, mess around going down on our skates, but this is incredibly fun, and hopefully they'll be able to continue this and bring one to Cambridge for November 2013. Just going to jump on the ice for the last little bit, chill out with George and his mate for a bit, and then we're going to be headed off into town centre. But hopefully this video is giving you a better idea of what you can expect to see at this um, ice rink, which is the ice festival in Liverpool. So we just finished at the ice rink and the ice slides. We'll be back later on tonight to see how the ice rink looks during the night time because they turn lights on apparently and it looks really, really nice. We're also going to go back to the slide for take two, going down a bit more aggressively and quickly during the night time. Still got all the guys with me. So finally checked into the hotel. We ended up going from the hotel directly to the rink without checking in. We left all our stuff in the cars. But now we've checked in, we're just going to get changed, have a quick shower and then head into Liverpool town centre. Of course at night time we're going to be headed back to the ice rink to check out the lights and also to go on the um, ramp once again, but this time at night with the lights and see how cool that looks. But for now we're going to head into town and see what that's like and afterwards we're going to go into, when it gets a bit later on, probably about 8, 9 o'clock, head into Liverpool town centre and do a bit of clubbing. Real. Just been in the hotel room, finished checking in, had a quick uh, shower and change. <laughs> nice and fresh, now we're getting ready to go outside. Some fresh and some clean. Quick look down our little corridor. 
Where are the guys? What up, what up? Thought we'd show you outside. Oh, real submarine. Looks really cool. There's like a submarine out there. A massive yellow submarine that you can see over there. Oh, Liverpool Eye. That's what we're going to call that. The Liverpool Eye. But as if the roof's not even protected, you can literally just jump out this window if you wanted to. Yeah, I managed to jump It's pretty mad. It's we just really different. <laughs> now we do love you, Liverpool. We just think the accent's really cool. It just sounds completely different <laughs> to what we're used to. So uh, you can call us posh snobs. Yeah, you, you can call us Cambridge boys posh snobs. Good day, sir. <laughs> Where can I get myself uh, some rather good crumpets and tea? John Lewis. John Lewis? Ha! Oh. Absolutely! What, 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 what? Yep. We're just briefly talking about how Hollister's the most priciest, overpriced clothing line out there for no reason, and their clothes suck. Can't put me in there. <laughs> This is a Muslim that eats pork. What? Just, just pointing that out real quick. I'm getting mozzarella pizza. He's lying. He's gonna get meat feast that has nice pepperoni chicken. on it. Nice what is pepperoni? Chicken. Someone tell me. What is pepperoni? Pork. Oh. I vote burger king. Right here, right now. That's shopping. Chicken, chicken. All the stuff that I want to wear tonight. So now we need to eat, head back to the hotel, and get some sleep because we're tired. People are looking at me with this camera like I'm crazy, but I'm not from here. I don't care. Check out the line of Burger King. Is a burger and chips really worth that much? Yes. <laughs> I'm checking on some skill. I'm gonna head back to the Ashford Slope or um, Ice Hill and have a couple more goes before we head into town later on tonight. You know me and Twitter. I can't get off. This is the ice slide at night. This will be cool. That's going to be the exciting part here. Yeah. 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 Oh. The inside step doing that back. So this is the way you're actually supposed to use the ice slide. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> we just finished recording at the um, ice festival in Liverpool. We've been using the uh, slope that you can see behind me. Sliding down on the rubber rings that are just over there. And also going down with our skates. We've had an absolutely amazing time here. The staff here are great, the management are great, and we've just had probably the best time that we've had at any ice rink at any point. I'd seriously recommend this place. Masses of fun down here. Liverpool Ice Festival. This is going to be back in November 2013, so be sure that you guys check it out. Do I make you real excited? <laughs> real excited. <laughs> Let's say this will be our last stop before heading back to Cambridge. Grab some food, some water.